Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Talking with Heroes talk show program. I am Bob Calvert, your host. Uh, G. Mark LaFrancis, 23 Air Force veteran, behind the camera. We're here in Washington, D.C. on TalkingWithHeroes.com, our online news site. Thank you for your service, .us. Um, by now, you've all watched the shout-outs of incredible stories shared at the American Legion Conference. And we're now here at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and uh, to... Uh, Introduce uh, what we're going to be doing here today, uh, Andrew Kavalson. Thank you guys so much for coming today, and why don't we have a look inside? Okay. Well, we're inside now, inside with the Chamber of Commerce here in Washington, D.C., and it's an honor to introduce an Afghan veteran, uh, Ross Cohen. He's the Senior Director of Programs and Operations Veterans Initiative at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Talking with Heroes, Ross. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Great. Why don't you introduce yourself and uh, start out, uh, talk a little bit maybe where you're from and, and about your service and your tour in Afghanistan. Sure, absolutely. Well, I'm from, uh, I'm from Maryland originally, actually, just outside D.C. Uh, shortly after September 11th, uh, I was uh, inspired by the events of that day to join the Army. So I enlisted into the infantry as a paratrooper, airborne, uh, went and served with the 501st Parachute Infantry Regiment out of uh, Alaska, and I deployed to uh, eastern Afghanistan in 2003 and 2004 with Operation Enduring Freedom. So you were there kind of in the early stages, really. Yeah, I think there were about 15,000 of us yeah. there back then. So uh, it was the early stages. I, um, you know, it's, uh, it was still a, still a pretty rough country, but, you know, it's... Um, uh, it, was, uh, it was an honor to be able to, uh, to serve there and to be with the guys and, and gals I was with. Well, thank you for your service. I really appreciate that. Thank you. What's really neat, like we just with the American Legion, all these veterans who served some World War II, but they're still serving today, yeah. and that's what you're doing now. And they're just serving in a different way now. So why don't you talk about what you're doing? Sure, absolutely. Well, I was I appreciate that, and I was really inspired by the Chamber's mission, our, our veterans program, Hiring Our Heroes. Uh, really, it's got two, uh, two basic philosophies. One, uh, we owe it to our, our businesses and our Chamber members to find talented uh, veterans and military spouses to be their employees. I mean, these are great employees. Uh, veterans are hardworking. They work in teams. They know how to uh, adjust rapidly to changing circumstances under tight deadlines. Uh, so we really owe it. Uh, as a civic duty to uh, to our businesses, who are members of the chamber, and to the local, the 1,600 local and state chambers of commerce, to provide access to these great veterans and military spouses to be great employees. We also, of course, owe a debt to our, our service members and their families. There's uh, about 14% unemployment for the National Guard and Reservists, 13% for post-9-11 veterans, 26% for military spouses. Uh, these folks are the best this country has to offer, and we should they should be working, and that's what we're we're helping to make happen. So when you say 1,600 local, we're talking about nationwide? That's right, 1,600 state and local chambers of commerce. We've also got uh, you know, 3 million small businesses that are affiliated with the U.S. Chamber through uh, those state and local chambers. But that's really the strength of how we can do this. It's not because we're sitting here in D.C. It's because we have this amazing network of state and local chambers of commerce. And you go to anywhere from Los Angeles to Great Falls, Montana, to Miami-Dade, and those chambers of commerce are the ones who know where the jobs are. And we're just privileged to be able to work with them and connect those folks to veterans and military spouses. With people getting out of the military and having a hard time finding work, but you have businesses that are members that are looking to hire our veterans. That is exactly right. And let me give you just some examples. Okay. Capital One, they're a bank that's expanding. They're looking for folks from every level, from tellers to senior executives who are veterans. We've got great folks like Walmart, GE, just announced the commitment to hire 5,000 new veterans over the next couple of years. Entergy is doing something similar. Across every sector of the economy, you've got great employers who are stepping up. And it's also small businesses. We have our hiring fairs around the country. We had 100 hiring fairs. We're going to 400 hiring fairs next year. And so it's got to be that combination of the big businesses and the small businesses all working together to, uh, to meet this challenge. What happens at the hiring fairs? Uh, they're usually pretty high energy. They're pretty fun. We've had a, we, uh, basically, it's a lot of employers who are there on condition of having jobs and hundreds and hundreds of veterans and military spouses. Uh, everyone looks different in Los Angeles. Uh, we had some fun. The, uh, the Royal Highnesses, uh, Prince William and, uh, and, and oh, Catherine, wow. uh, Duchess of Cambridge, were there. And we've been able to work with governors across the country and First Lady Michelle Obama and Dr. Biden. Um, and so, you know, we have uh, usually it's just great energy. And the real important thing, though, of course, 
basis for uh, the employers to have a chance to directly see uh, the veterans and military spouses so they can get to know them and, and make uh, smart decisions, smart business decisions. Okay, and earlier you were telling me you actually you're, you're expanding this now. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we decided to go a little crazy, so we announced <laughs> last uh, last March, uh, late March, that we were going to do 100 hiring fairs in our first 12 months. Uh, we're about a month ahead of schedule, so we're hitting 100 this Friday in Philadelphia, and we have uh, for some reason decided to go to 400 uh, wow. in 12 months, uh, and we'll be doing that every year. So this will be throughout the year now. Yeah, throughout the year, every year, and the idea is that you know when 79 percent of the uh, nearly 100,000 veterans and military spouses who have come to our events uh, tell us in our surveys they don't really want to move for a job. They want to, you know, they finish the military, they want to go home, and so we want to bring the hiring fairs to them. So that's why we're going to be in rural communities, big cities, and everything in between. And how do people find out about this on the internet? You can go to uschamber.com slash hiring our heroes, uh, and it's got the entire list. It's got how to uh, sign up. The events are all free, so come on down. We just uh, you know, ask that you uh, be a veteran, military spouse, guard, or reserve member. Okay, now, you have some other projects too, right? We do. We've, we've, that's exactly right. So it's all part of the hiring our heroes yeah. effort here at the U.S. Chamber, but we also work. We, we realize that the issues that face military spouses are really different than those of veterans. These are uh, military spouses are actually far more educated than the average public, but they move around so much, and they're nurses or doctors or teachers, and every state has different licensing issues, and it's, it's hard, frankly, to be able to maintain a career while your uh, husband or wife in the military is traveling around. So we've st st started a standalone military spouse business alliance, uh, and we're pl really pleased that we're uh, partnering at the, the top level with Capital One uh, to make that business alliance uh, really dedicated just towards helping military spouses not just get good jobs, but really good careers. Uh, and I'll be honest, that's actually a national security issue. It's not just a nice thing. You've got a ton of good captains and majors leaving the military because their spouses are saying, uh, what about my career and how do I, how do I get involved? So we really think this is a, a, not just the right thing to do, but it's an essential thing to do. Yeah, I think it's great what you do. I mean, you're business people and you're reaching out to these veterans and families and that's that's a good message to take across the country because obviously you know we have we estimate hundreds of thousands of PTSD traumatic brain injury and most of the country doesn't know about it no. and now, now we're, they're going to start finding out about it that's right, and and one of the th the biggest messages that that I the one message I could give I could give to any employer doesn't matter if you're a huge business or a, or a small shop, do not hire veterans or military spouses because it's the right thing to do. Although it is, hire it because it is the best business decision that you're going to make. Absolutely, we need to get this message out to the people that are deployed because I hear this a lot. They're worried about their families back home, their finances, just like a lot of Americans, their homes, and this gives them hope too. Absolutely. The folks who are, who are out there, the folks who are serving overseas right now, uh, God bless you. I, I have a lot of buddies who I served with who are, who are still overseas, and I uh, just want you to know that we are doing everything we can to take care of, take care of your families while you're gone and to take care of you and make sure that your, uh, your talents will continue to be used uh, when you come back to America. I'm glad you jumped ahead of me there because I was going to ask you to do a shout out. You just did. It's great. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. Why don't you give the website again? Sure. It's www.uschamber.com slash hiring our heroes. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the American people? No, I just want to say really again, thank you and uh, thank you for this opportunity and um, uh, we're excited to have this, have this chance to, to help. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to come out here, and I want to thank you for your service to our country. All right, thank Anything you very we much. can do to help over, over this next year, just let us know. I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Thank Bye -bye. you. Folks, you've been hearing it here again on TalkingWithHeroes.com with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. There's a lot of information here, folks. I mean, what an opportunity to get the word out across the country. And here it is on YouTube. And uh, Again, like we did at the American Legion event, it's so simple. You have a YouTube page. Just click favorites on this video. It's now on your YouTube page. And we can spread this across the country from there, Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking sites. You know, you hear about these videos that go viral, millions of people. Why not these? And you can help make that happen. So we appreciate you watching this, and we appreciate you helping get the stories out. And I want to say to all the men and women, serving overseas right now in harm's way and around the world. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you.